hope you and your families had a blessed Thanksgiving. Special thanks in particular goes out to all those who worked the holiday to ensure our members had a wonderful Thanksgiving as well. And thank you, of course, for tuning into our December wig report. It is hard to believe that 2022 is almost over. It's one more month. So three items for this month's critical update. Uh, the first update is more of a reminder than an update because you should hopefully already be aware. And that is last month, starting November, all 15 of our communities were certified a great place to work. First time all 15 have been certified. Usually we've always been missing one. So this is the third year in a row being certified for almost all of our communities when we set company records in both participation and overall scores. Uh, the workplace is only as great as the people and these scores are a testament ultimately to your, your greatness, not the place. So if you'd like more details, please check out the video titled Great Place to Work Achieved on the Senior Living Communities YouTube page where we cover the results a little further. The second update is regarding our open positions. Per our last wig report, our November wig report, we decreased our open positions to under 200 people for the first time in more than 18 months, almost two years. And I'm happy to report that we are maintaining that improvement. You, of course, can help us fill even more jobs, bring that number down even further by taking advantage of our team member referral program. Many folks have, thank you. So the third final update was regarding our Walked Into Alzheimer's campaign, which you may recall is a national team. Our company's goal for 2022 is to raise $150,000 towards the walk. We have one month remaining this year, and we've already beaten that $150,000 goal, we raised almost $161,000 a year to date. So that is amazing. Thank you to everyone who has donated or helped raise awareness. All of it's important. Let's keep pushing and further beat our goal as we finish out the year. So growing up, my mom would always quote Charles Swindoll. This is the quote. Life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. Said another way, life is 10% circumstance and 90% attitude. In honor of Thanksgiving and the holiday season, I thought I'd focus this month's leadership message on the value of being grateful or practicing gratitude. It's something that is not easy, um, certainly not to consistently do, and I personally find that life's adverse circumstances tend to be easier to focus on than the positive ones, sadly. And I suspect most of you agree with me on that. The benefits of doing the opposite and focusing on the positive circumstances by practicing gratitude are seemingly endless. Uh, there are a multitude of studies, um, clinical studies that show actively practicing gratitude leads to positive emotions, better sleep, more compassion and kindness towards others, just in general, feeling more alive, and even a stronger immune system, extra important these days. Uh, the mind, of course, is a powerful thing. So what does it mean to practice gratitude? It's, it's really a matter of taking time to notice and reflect on the events, things, experiences, and people in your life that you are thankful for. A simple and somewhat popular way of doing this that many of you have probably already heard of is through gratitude journaling. Uh, the practice is simple and all it takes is picking a time each day or couple times throughout the week just to write down no more than a handful, typically five, uh, of the events, things, experiences, and people that you are grateful for. Uh, what you write down does not have to be some significant life event or big happening. It can be very simple. And, and you can even be grateful for something um, negative that you were able to avoid or eliminate, grateful that something didn't happen. What is important is to be specific and to reflect on different things in your life each time. The more specific and detailed the reflection, the more gratefulness is achieved. The positive emotions and even perspective that this exercise creates is what leads to the many benefits from practicing gratitude. Um, I encourage everyone to give this a try. So we are highlighting two team member benefits this month, the first being our holiday pay. Tis the season for many holidays and to show appreciation for everyone that works the holiday in our communities, we pay time and a half for all hours worked on the holiday. So holiday pay is applied to Memorial Day, Labor Day, Independence Day, and the currently relevant Thanksgiving Day, Christmas Day, and for new for this year, we added another one, New Year's Day. So working an eight hour shift on all six of those holidays, it's the same as getting paid a bonus worth 24 hours of extra pay in that year for doing the same work. I should also note or add that overtime, when applicable, is paid on top of this. So no action is necessary to receive holiday pay. It is automatically added to your paycheck. Wanted you to be aware, got a couple more holidays remaining. 
The second team member benefit I'd like to highlight is brought to you not by us, but by our members. So very unique to our communities, most of our independent living members and care services in some cases, raise a team member appreciation fund that they use for giving out end of year bonuses. These can be quite substantial and several of the funds raise more than $100,000 each year. I'm always amazed at the, the gratitude, the generosity. Every community's program is different because it is organized and funded by the members, not the company. And I'm you know, sometimes asked why the company is not involved in the appreciation fund. The answer is that it's a member initiative, and if we were involved, then you, the team member, would be taxed differently. Specifically, it would become a payroll expense, and we'd have to deduct payroll taxes accordingly, which is more than 15%. I don't think anyone wants to give up 15% of their bonus just for us to be involved. Outside of ours, there are very few communities in the entire country that have something like this. Um, our members are very generous each year through their appreciation fund, and we do ensure that they know how much our team members value that generosity. Wanted to make sure you're aware of this great benefit brought to you by our members. All the credit goes to them. Teresa has been with us really about three years. She is one of the most dedicated care professionals uh, that I have working here. She is here seven days a week if that's what's required to make sure that our residents are taken care of and she is an amazing person. Gives her 100% of herself to this community. She knows every member by name. She's dedicated, caring, and loyal to this community. We love Carissa. She's a very hard worker in this place. She fills all the spots as a CNA, as a med take and she's always welcoming us and welcoming the resident. She's always willing to help, uh, teach and train. She actually trains me. Um, she always takes the time, she's really patient, and she's always willing to take time to stop what she's doing to help you out. We love her here. I've been here for three years. I love my job, I love what I do. What I like about working at the Charlotte Disc are my members. They bring me such joy. I love what I do for them, and they always make me feel appreciated and happy. We are so proud to celebrate Nikki and her amazing accomplishments here at the community. I mean, imagine um, as a CNA uh, coming along right before COVID, uh, Nikki's responsibilities at being at the forefront of the health center, greeting everyone, uh, making sure everyone's safe and sound through the entire pandemic. Oh, and by the way, uh, you're responsible for uh, scheduling all the CNAs in the health center, receiving all the packages, doing some business center uh, responsibilities, and uh, whatever else comes up that we can throw at you. But it's always done in an amazing spirit, wonderful attitude, and uh, she definitely makes this a great place to work. So thank you, Nikki, for all you do. You're much appreciated. She is just so happy. She's upbeat. Her personality and her laugh, it's just contagious. She's a cheerleader um, and she has this can-do attitude. So anytime that you want a solution or, or help with a problem, uh, Nikki is a go-to person and she has this, this ability to say, you know what, we can do it. Nikki is just a wealth of knowledge. Anytime we need a question answered about resident care, she is our go-to person. Her care is exceptional, she's detail-oriented, and knows all of our residents inside and out. She's the epitome of a team player and keeps our People First initiative at the forefront. Babby is our social worker here at Wildwood Downs for our care services department. And as the social worker, uh, she is the go-to person for family members, for residents, and even team members when we have concerns. Babby exemplifies people first always, every single day, and how she interacts and how she listens to each and every concern. She takes her role to heart and the families and the members love her genuine concern and quick responses. She gets to know each rehab resident when they enter the community and person-centered care is what she provides. Babby also serves as team member support for a lot of us here um, on staff. She always makes herself available to assist in any way needed and a lot of times she will do things that help to make our jobs easier by uh, taking care of them up front. And every time I have someone speak about how the team has provided to make their stay better here at Wildwood Downs, Babby's name is always, always mentioned. And, um, we just appreciate her for always going above and beyond. Hi, my name is Christy. I'm the resident care coordinator here at Wilmore of Lexington for our assisted living. Alicia is one of my employees and she's such a pleasure to work with. 
She's always ready and willing to jump in and help whenever or wherever we may need her to. Um, our residents love her. Every time they see her, their face lights up. She's definitely a pleasure to work with and I'm very thankful to have her on our team. Hi, my name is TJ. I'm a caregiver slash med tech here at Wilmore. Um, I've only worked here for a short amount of time, but the time I have worked Alicia, she's it's never a dull moment working with her. She's always willing to put her best foot forward and help you out in any situation. And she's a great spirit to be around. Hi, I'm Cheryl. I'm one of the med techs here at Wilmore. Um, I'm a good friend of Alicia's. Um, she's very pleasant to work with. She always puts a smile on your face. Anytime yeah. that you need help, she's willing to help. Thank you, Heroes. It's been a wonderful and challenging year. And when I think as we look back, we're gonna have a lot to be grateful for already Do We wish you and your families a fantastic end to the year and a Merry Christmas. Let's have a strong and grateful finish to 2022.